Hi, it's Joan Marie Domino from Decoupage Rocket Girls, and this is my first video in a little mini series I'm doing on decoupaging on seashells, just like these. And this is kind of where I first began decoupaging. All right, so let's get started with what you need. Saran wrap, brushes, paint, decoupage glue, scissor, file, a little bit of water, sealant, and of course you're going to need decorative napkins. This is what we're using to decoupage onto the shell. And of course, you're going to need shells. This is just a plain clam shell that I pick up off of the beach. And whether you're picking them up off the beach, somebody is giving these to you, you want to make sure that they're clean. You want to remove any bacteria, any debris, any sand. So give them a really, really good scrubbing and then just put them out in the sun to dry. That's what I do. All right. Once they're dry, now you want to determine if you want to leave the shell natural like this or if you want to paint it a pretty color. And in this particular demonstration, I decided to paint the rock, the shell, I knew I was going to do that, in blue. And this is the napkin that I chose. I thought, well, this is very nautical and that'll look nice on that. And what I did, as you can see, is I deckled the edge of the napkin because I want it to blend more in with the shell and that's very easy to do. So you want to take your napkin, remove those black plies. You don't need these. All you want is this nice top layer. It's nice and thin. Okay. You can take a brush with a little bit of water and kind of go around the water with the brush and the part of the image that you want to use, just like I'm doing here. And then just use your finger to kind of pick at that right where the water is and it's going to come right apart and you're going to get a nice edge that looks like this so now we're ready to put the nice little come sail away onto the seashell so you're going to need saran wrap of course if you watch my videos you know you're going to need saran wrap i'm going to take the image i'm going to turn it upside down onto the saran wrap and now i'm going to put on the glue Okay, so you're going to start in the middle like this and you're going to go to the edge with the glue. Now you want to make sure you put enough on but you don't want to oversaturate um, the napkin either. And um, I don't know about you but I have lots and lots of seashells that I have collected over the years being near the shore and I'm always like what am I going to do with these seashells? Well this is definitely one of the things that you can do. All right, I'm going to take the seashell, put it down. Okay, so as you can see, the napkin is staying on the saran wrap, so I have a chance to line it up on the shell where I want. And let's see. Oh, that looks good. Okay, so I'm going to take my fingers, and I'm going to smooth the napkin with my fingers. The saran wrap is protecting it. So while I'm smoothing, I'm also kind of pulling on the saran wrap because by doing that, I'm trying to get rid of some of those, you know, dreaded wrinkles that we all don't like. Well, I don't mind the wrinkles. Okay, that looks good. All right, so now we're going to peel saran wrap away. Oh, look at that. That's very nice. Makes me want to go on a boat. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so that's one way that you can decoupage the top or the outside of the shell. But what you can also do is do it the top in pieces, okay? Just cut out little pieces like I did here. Put on a little bit of decoupage glue like that and just arrange it on. Put it on like that. If you notice, I'm touching this and it's actually okay. In this case, I'm using tissue paper and it's a little bit more durable than napkins, but look how pretty that is. Okay, now once you're done and it's dry, you may have this little bit of an edge hanging off and that's okay, because we can get rid of that using a file. And all you wanna do is take the file and go like this and you'll see all those little pieces just come off and you'll have a nice edge. Okay, very easy. All right, 
So when you're all done, you don't want to forget that you want to put on some kind of a sealant, um, whether they're going outside or not. Uh, mine probably will not go outside. I still want to protect it with the sealant. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the ones that I've already done. Um, I did some little small shells. I actually had one very nice scallop shell I was able to do. And I talked about doing shells and leaving them natural. And I thought that these two really looked good on the natural shell. So I didn't bother painting them. Okay, so um, that does it for this video. Um, we're doing just the outside of the shell in this one. In the next video, we're going to be doing the inside of the shell. And the inside of the shell is a little trickier, but we're going to work on that. Okay, so don't forget to join our Facebook group page, Decoupage Rocket Girls. We have more videos and more tutorials, and we talk about products, and we have really good discussions. So you want to join our Facebook group page. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I don't want you to miss any more on the seashells or other videos I have coming out. Um, and thank you for watching my video.